But for more on this, journalist Stephanie Bossett joins us now from London. Good to speak to you, Stephanie. So to what extent has social media contributed to the spread of fake news? Well, I think in a way social media has simply presented itself as a perfect platform for the spread of information, for free information, for easily accessible information, which in a perfect world uh, will be an amazing tool. But unfortunately, it's being abused. Uh, it's being abused to some very far extents by certain people. I mean, in the case of Alex Jones, uh, for instance, you know, he's, he's spewing out what really is, is beyond fake news. It's conspiracy theories. And conspiracy theories used to be uh, an underground thing. It was something that surfaced only if people really sought these out. Um, unfortunately, now with, you know, with online radio, with online shows, with YouTube, it is so easy to, to spread these conspiracy theories uh, to thousands and millions of people. So what is essentially what could have been a wonderful tool is also being used uh, to spread this kind of misinformation. And why does inaccurate information get picked up and spread so easily? Well, some of it is, I suppose, really comes down to uh, our sort of desire sometimes for uh, something shocking. Um, conspiracy theories themselves are, are shocking and, and, you know, they even have a sort of psychological um, backing to them in the sense that we like to hear these things because it sort of defends us from the truth. Truth, it's a it's a defense mechanism, um, and you know a lot of it comes down to the fact that unfortunately we are uh, we are falling prey to clickbait headlines, uh, which are becoming more and more exaggerated. And unfortunately, people don't click through to these articles. We sort of see something, we stop at it, and we don't make the effort to look beyond the headline to do our own research. So some but, of the... Yeah. Some of the Not everyone is a journalist or an editor, so what, what steps can people take to check the factual accuracy of what they're reading? Well, I mean, a lot of the time is it's not even, it's just to take a moment, to take a moment to really look at something, and really just, just one minute before sharing it. A lot of this, uh, a lot of it, it comes down to us continually sharing articles, spreading the misinformation. And sometimes if we just take a little moment, some of these things are too crazy to be true or too good to be true. One of the last things I saw was a photo of an octopus falling from the sky in China after uh, a storm, apparently. And it was instantly recognizable as a, as a fake sort of Photoshop image. But it was so, it was a fantasy, it was fiction, it was like a wonderful scene from a film. People almost wanted to be true and, uh, and share too quickly. So, you know, we can't all learn, obviously, uh, verification tools, but it's, I think it really comes down to just taking a moment before sharing. Well, we have and to wrap reading the full article. Thank you, we have to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for joining us here, Stephanie Bosset.